I'm reading Stanislav Lem's Fables of Robots, quite interesting book about, you know, robots. But the stories in it are unlikely to happen, it's really unreal. It's science fiction, but there is way more fiction than science. It's still worth reading though, and while reading this book, I've got an idea to make this video about how to start with robotics, how to practice robotics, and how to start building your first robots. I started with robotics by playing with Lego bricks, and I know that's not really robotics, but when I was about 6 years old, that was a great way for me to build anything I wanted. And it also broadened my imagination, you know, it was very creative. Later I got the power functions kit, that was a motor with batteries, so that you could create stuff out of Lego that is moving, you know, cars, robots, machines. So I started building, basically that, cars, robots and machines. And I also started making my YouTube videos. My first, I think, three YouTube videos were about LEGO constructions. You can still see them on my channel. When I was about 12 or 13, together with my dad, we built first real robot with electronic components, some cardboard and motors that I took out of old toys. Those motors were attached to the cardboard with a piece of wire. This build was really crappy, like the engineering side of this project was terrible. But it was kind of working. It was a light following robot and there was no programming involved. This kind of robotics where there is no programming is called BIM, which stands for Biology, Electronics, Aesthetics and Mechanics. It's a really cool way to start with robotics, to learn and to build simple stuff, but to build something complicated and big, it's pain in the ass to use just analog circuits. In April of 2014, I've got my first Arduino. I remember this day exactly. And because at that time I already had quite a lot of experience with programming, it was super easy for me to learn how to program Arduino. So I started building a lot of different projects, robots, machines. You can see most of them on the Instructables or here on my YouTube channel. Now it's 2019, I'm already 5 years into making this kind of project and robots. I have a little bit of experience with industrial solutions, but I really don't like those overpriced, closed environments developed by companies that are afraid to develop new technologies. What I like is open source, inexpensive and easy to use. What is inexpensive and easy to use? LCSC Electronics. So let's jump to the sponsor message. Sponsor of this video is LCSC Electronics, online store with electronic components. You can find the rare components that are hard to buy anywhere else, but also as popular components as Atmega 328, that you can use for your next robotic project. It's also a great place to buy components if you want to start manufacturing your project. They have discount prices if you buy more, they pack everything really nicely and every component is labeled. I tested that myself. I will put a link to LCSC in the description, go check it out, maybe you will find here components for your next project. And now I will try to answer really not a simple question, how to start with robotics. Robotics is a really broad topic, so there is a lot of different ways how you can start with robotics. You can buy a simple kit online for a few bucks with everything you need to build a robot. You can assemble that, solder everything and you have a working robot. You wouldn't learn a lot by this, by soldering that. But at least you can practice soldering and get to know all the components. Better way is to find the tutorial online on how to build some kind of beam robot, for example light following robot like I did. Buy all of the components by yourself and figure out how to assemble all of that to get it working. If you are young, maybe Lego Mystorms is a way to go. Visual programming language is super easy to understand for kids. And if you want to do more advanced stuff, you can do it with Java or C++. You can program the Lego Mystorms with Java or C++. And because, you know, that's Lego, that's simple to build, you don't have to worry about, I don't know, 3D printing, maybe CNC machining some of the parts. Everything is simple to build. There are also those STEM robots, however it is called, all over Kickstarter and Indiegogo. In my opinion, it's really not a good solution. Lego Mindstorms is definitely way better, because those STEM robots, you only can program them. There is no construction at all, usually. There are some exceptions. That's just too easy. Lego Mindstorms let you construct stuff, and you are not only limited to programming. That's a good thing. And here is, in my opinion, the best way to start with robotics. Just buy an Arduino. It's inexpensive, easy to use, you can easily learn how to code with that, you can buy a lot of different sensors, learn to use them, build few projects like a weather station, an alarm clock or POV display as I did. Then you can buy some kind of a robot chassis with different sensors like this one or this one. You can build a lot of various robots with that and once you gain some experience, you know what you need, what you don't and what to do next. 
you can read about ROS, Robot Operating System, or about Raspberry Pi. Those technologies are really often used in robotics nowadays. Remember to come up with your own solutions to a problem. Don't copy everything from the internet, because problem solving is crucial in robotics. Remember that. I remember that when I started making those projects, every single little thing made me happy, like a blinking LED. Right now, when I have more experience, it's quite hard to be satisfied with what I'm doing because most of my projects are hard to realize for one person or are way over my budget. So it's definitely easier to be satisfied with your projects when you are starting. So enjoy your learning process. That's it for this video. If you have any more ideas on how to start with robotics, please leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Keep making. Bye.